Hello again, everybody, and yes, another duel, and we're going up against Vampires. I think he's a fan of my channel. I'm not entirely sure. Could be wrong about that. But anyway, I'm going to head off first again. So, as I said, guys, I will hopefully do a Blue Eyes deck video very, very soon. I don't know when. I'm on holiday now at the moment, anyway. So, I just hope I can give you guys a good uh, right, blue eyes draw first. It's not too bad, it's not too bad. Hmm. I could do that right now, but I'm not going to, so I'm just going to normal summon. In my tube. <laughs> yeah, I have to admit, it has been quite a while since I played on Dual Network. Work's just been really tiring to say the least. It's just been an apps. Well, no, it's just been taking up a lot of my time, to be honest, so. Let's go for main phase one. Normal summon. Okay. Right, okay. Um. Diva. I really cannot spell Define Effect. Okay, I'm going to send Totem to the grave. Add Blue Eyes back, that way. And then I am going to Overlay. Which I'll overlay into. Ooh, only choice is Queen Dragoon, but that's perfectly fine. Now I don't have any targets in the graveyard, but I've got her ready there just in case Blue Eyes does happen to go back to the graveyard again with anything. So here we go into battle. I've got a funny feeling I'm going to run into something nasty. What's that? If the only one she controls a worm... Turn it to the other hand. Okay. <laughs> So that goes back to the extra deck. Right, that's a bit of an annoyance, so I'll just have to end my turn, unfortunately. I think the last time I played against a worm deck. A warm deck, oh dear, I can't, I seriously can't spell. Warm deck was um, against my good friend's uh, scapegoat user, but that was like a really, really long time ago, I have to admit. Right, he's got three face downs. Do I want to? Ooh, I'm actually, no. I think I'll be on the safe side by setting another totem. I've got a funny feeling one of those is going to be a, a mystical space typhoon or something. So I'm not going to sit the mirror force just to be on the safe side. Oh, thank goodness for that. What a draw. What a draw. Right. Go heavy. Oh, no. Oh, gosh darn it. All right. We'll just go back. I'll just put that back in main page one. All right. I'll target this card. Phew. Right, I'm actually still terrified of that last card, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip some in this. Right, I'm just going to attribute that to the grave, and just going to normal some of the rise. If he has a bottomless trap or something, I won't be pleased. <laughs> I hate that card by passion. Right, let's go battle. Attack into Stardust. Please don't let no it's a dimensional prison Oh I hate that card so much. Alright, I have a right, what do I do? Right, that unfortunately was a normal summon so I can't do anything else. Uh I could have set this exploder but there's nothing I could have done. I'll just have to pretend that's a bluff for the moment. And already I'm using up like a hundred of my hands, what's that one? 
Okay, sure. <sighs> After met the worm deck is a very interesting deck, but at the same time it's a bit scary to me just because of the artwork. It's just a wee bit creepy. Right. However, because Stardust was summoned via Starlight Road, it can only negate destruction once, so hopefully he'll take the... Hopefully if he does run into, run into my Mirror Force, hopefully he'll activate Stardust effect, and that way I know Stardust is out the road. Oh, freaking heck, Utopia. Oh, hate that card, Rob. I don't really like that card, but I'm going to attempt to activate. Mirror Force, are you going to tribute to Stardust? That's fine, so I still take 25. And two face downs, that's never a good thing. Well, unfortunately, I don't have anything to get around Utopia at the moment, so I'm just going to have to sit and hope for the best. <laughs> But so far, even though <laughs> thank goodness for that. Whew. Now if Blue Eyes was in the graveyard I could easily monster born her and BAM, but unfortunately I can't. Because she's been banished, which I really, really hate. Norm some you can send on okay then. I'm just gonna look. Uh, right, that's actually not a bad. Oh dear. Do I want a monster born anything? Is there anything I can use? I'm just gonna have a look at your graveyard pal. I could use Utopia or Stardust if needed, but the thing is, at the same time, it's gonna be difficult to use, so. I'm just going to have to end my turn. I'd rather play it safe. I'm going to take a bit of damage. Yeah, that is going to... Oh, I was expecting him to exceed with something, but nope. That's fine. I'll just take 18 then. Alright. Come on, guys. Oh, have I got a light and dark in the grave? Yes, I do! Alrighty then. Right, let's go to main phase one. So we shall banish Divine Dragon and Apocalypse to special summon Dark Flare. Okie dokie. Okay. Right, Dark. Oh no, wait, I can't do it. I can't do that, I completely forgot. What an idiot. Once per turn you can set a dragon. I don't have a dragon type monster in the <laughs> and you plonker. Oh dear. Fortunately there's nothing I can do there. I'm just worried about the face down cards, so I'm just gonna go and attack anyway. Please don't let it be anything but uh what's what's that? Change all face down monsters in the field to face up defence position or to face down. Uh, I'll face it. During the end phase this turn, change all face up like reptile ones you control to face down defense position and drop one card for each. You can special. Oh boy! Oh, that means I get my monster back to my hand. Darn it. Alright, I'll just have to go to main phase 2 then. And the only thing I've got pretty much to pre maybe save myself is Exploder, but I've also got the Alexandric Dragon and everything, so just to be on the safe side, I'll bring back Exploder and Defense. Well, it doesn't matter if it's attack or defense, I don't take any damage anyway. And I'm going to have to set that, I just hope it doesn't get MST'd, but I'm probably going to have no luck, to be honest with that. 
Okie dokie. So he gets to draw three cards. And special summon a level seven or higher. So I'm guessing that's the Worm Kings or Queens. Oh dear. That scares me. I have to admit, that artwork actually scares me. This guy would be true. Oh, gosh darn it, right. I'm going to have to chain. So, what's half of 37? Sugar muffins. I am terrible at my maths. Um, oh, 15 is 3,033. 18. 1850, I think that is. I could be wrong. Just double check and see if that is. Yep, I got it correct, so I'll summon Blue Eyes and Attack, you in defense, and you in defense. So that means I've got a line of defense and I've got a 3000 attack beat stick at least, which hopefully he can't run over. That's probably going to cost me the duel, but oh well. If he goes to end phase immediately, all those three of those cards go back to the banished pile. Well, okie dokie. Oh no, Dark Hole. Please don't let it be Dark Hole. Please. <laughs> oh no, it's Solemn Judgment. Thank goodness for that. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh dear. Okay, he set five back row. That's interesting. <sighs> okay, you know its effect. Are you going to attack another one? Nope. Ah, uh, means all my monsters get banished again. Oh well. There is nothing I can do about that unless I draw blue eyes white. Or I can do that actually. Or wait a minute. I've got Totem in the graveyard but at the same time I don't want to risk it. Right actually, just, you know what, it doesn't matter. What I'll do is I'll do that. Resurrect Totem. Got another way of doing this. Head into main phase one. Go trade in. I'll have to discard Light and Darkness because I don't trust those cards at all. Back row anyway. Draw two. Please let it be alright. Okay. Right. Because it's been resurrected, I'll banish that to normal summon. Right. Now I can do dark flare effect. Alright, I'll send Wyvern to the grave along with White Stone, which in turn allows me to banish banish something. Because I have to fulfill this effect before I start another chain. Um, what shall I banish? I'll banish that because that seems to be a pain in the neck. Okay, and then I'll go White Stone Legend effect, then, then, oh, Wyvern. <laughs> what do I want to banish though? That's a question. Uh, there's nothing else to really. Banish. I want to keep that blue eyes just in case. Right, I'll banish Light and Darkness Dragon just to be on the safe side. Battle if I try and attack this card. Oh, uh, Did I mention how much I hate Deep Prison? Anybody? 
Yep, yeah, I've lost this duel, but oh well. Again, guys, if I'm if I'm still making mistakes with these wyvern effects, I'm pretty sure I'm doing it correct because white stone would be mandatory first, and then you've got the optional effects afterwards. But I'm not entirely sure because I know mandatory has to go first on a chain once something else. <sighs> What was I drawing? What would next be? Dragon's Mirror! Oh, <gasps> Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Oh well. Anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Hello YouTube, I'm back again, uh, dueling against uh, Vampirism. Uh, we decided to actually have a rematch or a, a rematch up. So, uh, this is why the videos are melded together now, regardless of who won the match and everything. So I do hope you guys enjoy. Hopefully I'll do a bit better with the blue eyes, at least in this turn. And trying to get into a comfy position. Because my arm was killing me, I was leaning on it. That really hurt. So yeah, I'm just going to quickly explain a few choices about the deck I've... The, the new deck I've built anyway, because I've shown you guys roughly, from all the videos I've done so far, what the deck actually looks like. And it's very interesting. As I said, it's had influence from both um, Disaster Dragon, which ma mainly focuses on uh, light and darkness and stuff like that, and Chaos Dragons, um, which was an okay deck. I liked it, but because it's so heavily relied on, you know, like the the darkness metal dragon and all that, I, that's why I wasn't so keen on it because it would be very difficult to incorporate that into a Blue Eyes deck really without resorting to Red Eyes Darkness Metal, but somehow I've managed to do it with this build. As I said, hopefully I'll get a video of that up soon. Um, so, oh well. Ugh, that means I don't trust the back row at all. Alright. Do I want to set or do I want to summon? No, I'm just going to summon because that's me, always been me, I've always been one to attack. Okay, that's cool. Just go into the battle phase then, attack her directly. Yeah. I've made quite a few, few changes to this Blue Eyes deck, to be honest. Just to make, with influence from both those decks, along with never look at losing the focus of the main strategy, which is this, the Shining Dragon. I think the deck's doing a lot better. I may have lost the past couple of duels, but... <sighs> I hate it when it's heavy back row. I really do. Um, Alright, I'm just going to set you. Please don't let it be a mirror force or something. I'll be very upset. Compulse. What are you compulsing? Alright, back to hand then. That's fine because even if um, he does summon something with Torrential in the field, I've got Totem and a Blue Eyes basically waiting in the wings, so if he does summon anything. Nope, set. Okay. Or could do something like that, but I'm not going to. We're going to keep Dark Hole just in case. Alright, I'll resummon Alexandra. Oh no. Um, the, no, bottomless does not target, so Forbidden Dress would unfortunately not work on that. Well, it probably could, but I'm not going to risk it. I'd rather keep Forbidden Dress for, obviously, when I need it the most, so. Oh, well, I'll just have to end my turn there. What does that do? Add one? Oh. So that means totem and white stone. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to view. Come on, there we go. Thank you. Two hand. So I get a blue eyes. So yeah, I think this version of the deck that I've built is actually really good. It's got influence from both... Oh dear. 
Yep. <laughs> yeah, I don't run Max Zero Effect Veiler to be honest. Well, one thing is I've got Totem Dragon back in the deck now, which needs dragons to make it work in all honesty. I really did actually miss using Totem Dragon, but um, using just Dark Flare Dragon in the deck really helps out with, like, abusing the Totem... Well, not abusing Totem Dragon, I shouldn't have used that word. They're using it, is what I meant to say, to its fullest effect. Because Dark Flare Dragon is just basically a... Um, It's just basically a oh, what's this called? What's that magic field magic card? A dragon ravine in monster form, basically. And it's also got an extra bonus effect of banishing stuff. So if you need to banish anything that's in your grave, then that's fine. Or get rid of any annoying cards in the opponent's graveyard, then that's even brilliant. Do I want to use totem's effect? Do I? To be honest, I don't trust your back row at all. So I'm just gonna go straight to main phase one. And I'm going to go Dark Hole. Please don't let that be Starlight Road. I'll be very upset. Oh. Not impressed. <laughs> right. <sighs> Set. Mm, go. Oh dear. So he gets to draw one card. Oh, that goes back to my hand. So he actually gets to summon two monsters and get out a Worm King as well. This is going to hurt to say the least. I'm not gonna lie, that freaks me out. That really does freak me out. Oof. Just eyes like that really just scare the heck out of me. I don't know how or why they just do. Right, totem effect. Have I got to have I still got totem Ooh, don't do that to me, deck, please. Right, Totem Dragon, okay. Okay, then I'm going to main phase one. Right, I've only got white stone in the graveyard, so that's fine. Alright, banish to normal summon. If there's a bottomless trap wall, I will not be pleased. Cool. Okay, so that's a normal song, so I can't do anything else for the moment. So I'm just going to double check your graveyard for anything that's interesting. Right, I've got Forbidden Dress, so this will be very dangerous to play in case I run into something I do not want to run into. So, to be on the safe side, I could attack those monsters, but I'm going to attack that instead. Ugh. I actually forgot that was that thing. What an idiot, Emma. Oh well. Um, I've lost this. I've been playing very badly. I already normal summoned this turn. There's nothing I can do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven cards. I'm going to have to set something, so set that. In turn. Okay. 
Yep, game. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, well, right, let's just show you what I had. There we go. Oh, Dark Flare. <laughs> oh well anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this little match uh, but I'm, as you saw I didn't do so well but oh well I played really bad but we'll see you guys in the next video bye